In Catholicism, they have or perform a ritual which connects one to a saint. This is done during the baptismal period of the neophyte or initiate, which is the given name to that person during this period. This saint is then attached to the person and able to aid and be petitioned in everyday life from that point on. There is a similar concept done in Haitian voodoo, and this is called a metet. Many persons in voodoo voodoo traditions are born with a metet from being passed down ancestrally. The metet may or may not be apparent to the person depending on their upbringing, but oftentimes signs are there prior to the moment of realization of who someone's particular loa is. When one finds out their metet and decides to get initiated, initiated or work independently with that said loa, it will begin to affect the initiate's personality. Today, I want to display how persons in the physical may act or how their behaviors or personalities would be if they were or are connected to a particular spirit and later explain the science behind the phenomenon of a metet. John Z is a singer songwriter out of Puerto Rico. It can be seen when viewing his aura that someone, not him per se, but someone around him practices Ifa. This would influence that practitioner, but also extends to their family, immediate family, and sometimes further than that. Not only does this person practice Ifa in his family, but they may be crowned a legwa as his personality reflects his spirit, this spirit. Many persons who are initiated into Ifa will have a light around them once crowned. In Ifa, the spirit you are crowned is not kept secret. Instead, it is shared and celebrated with that religious community. As opposed to voodoo, where typically the metet is kept kept secret, and I will touch on this later. John Z's personality reflects a legwa. Sure, you could say the typical description. He's youthful looking, and he's Afro-Indigenous, as Ilegua came to this side of the world during the slave trade and has many Afro-Indigenous pathways. However, if we look at John Z's body of work, someone who is crowned Ilegua or has Ilegua connections easily crosses over into many different genres or avenues in their work. And this person should be able to understand both genders as Ilegua is a type of mixed gendered spirit. John Z can cross between dimbo, reggaeton, trap, and hip-hop. He also has a gender-fluid quality to him. Ilegua prototypes many times work in the field of entertainment, could be comedians, singers, and the like. Why to pull a gun trigger? Get out of here! ODB, aka Old Dirty Bastard, is another person who can be used as an example of how a spirit would manifest in the physical or how someone might behave who is connected to this type of spirit. ODB is associated with the Gede on a subconscious level. It does not appear that he was mentally aware of this connection while alive, more so seen in his behaviors and gestures and the things he said. Namely, he called himself Osiris. Osiris is the Egyptian god of the dead. Someone who is only aware of their connection with the spirit on a subconscious level may call themselves or associate themselves with a spirit more known to the mainstream. Baron Samdi is an Osiris equivalent in Haitian voodoo. In an interview, ODB can be heard stating that drinking alcohol makes an energy come out of him, speaking to something similar to that of spirit possession. ODB's energy is very chaotic, similar to a Gede spirit. He had a criminal history, was frequently in and out of jail, and had been shot. He also loved children and had 13 of his own, which many Haitians who practice voodoo will do a type of dedication for their children to the Gede for protection. One of the key signs is in his video, Brooklyn Zoo, where he can be seen wearing a sunglass with one eye popped out, exactly how the Haitians do for the Gede. Other people in the Western world who would be affiliated with the Gede tend to be in medicine or have multiple children, etc. 
Next, Ursula Freda's personality can be seen made manifest in the former Lady of Haiti, Michelle, Michelle Benet Duvalier. Ursula Freda's prototype for women are typically in positions of power, like queens, first ladies, etc. They are a particular type of elite female, a kept woman, if you will. Some Ursula Freda's are mulatto. Same goes for Michelle Duvalier. It was said that Michelle Duvalier's power surpassed her husband's, Jean-Claude Duvalier, the Haitian president at the time, in true Ursula Freda fashion. Another example of an Ursula Freda prototype is Jean-Michel Basquiat. Ursula Freda is venerated among women and gay men. It is not clear his sexual preference. However, it is clear he did have a connection to Ursula Freda and Dambala. Jean-Michel was half Haitian, half Puerto Rican artist from New York in the 1980s. Many of his paintings sold for millions. In his paintings, Ursula Freda's Veve, as well as many depictions of Dambala can be seen. Many Ursula Freda prototypes would be into the arts as she is a Venus prototype. This also has a negative aspect, which goes into vanity, narcissism, and materialism, which I will touch on in a bit. Ursula Freda and Dambala have a spiritual marriage, and this can be seen in their symbolic offspring of Jean-Michel Basquiat. When it comes to the two Freddas people know of, one is light and one is dark. This is symbolic. Ursula Dantour represents creation. Her spirit made manifest would be a carefree and confident woman like that of Ma Rainey. The blues originated out of the deep South from the pain and suffering that black Americans faced during the slave trade in the United States. They came together and formed songs based on their hardships with otherworldly or spiritual qualities. Ma Rainey is a similar prototype of Ursula Dantour as women carry the karma of their people. It was one of the Ursula Dantours that helped free her people during the Haitian Revolution, and it was Ma Rainey who gave her people a voice and commanded respect during a time of oppression. Many Ursula Dantours tend to be lesbians or associated with lesbians, which makes the Ma Rainey comparison all that more valid. Kodak Black is a Haitian-American rapper out of Florida. His energy is chaotic and fiery, but not so much Gede affiliated. His energy is more in line with Ursula Dantour's son, Tajim Patuo. Tajim Patuo is a fire elemental spirit in Haiti that takes the form of a child. Being, both being a type of trickster, always in trouble, and always finding their way out of it. If one pays close attention, Kanye West's personality has a feminine quality to it. I do not mean feminine as in gay, but feminine as in wanting attention, being in the spotlight, and feeding off of it. This is, a very, this is very similar to that of Oshun, as she is a Venus prototype as well. In the beginning of Kanye West's career, he was able to create and bring in new aspects to hip hop and fashion never before experienced. But Kanye West in his current state is Oshun in her negative aspect. Kanye West's lineage was most likely Ifa affiliated many generations ago. This can be seen through his aura and his creative abilities. However, because he comes from a lineage that is broken, you will see the negative aspects or components lingering and affecting his personality, narcissism on a grand scale. This goes for any ancestral or spiritual connection. He comes from a broken lineage, so you are going to experience the negative aspects of that spirit because it is no longer getting fed. Met tech connections on a scientific level correspond with the theory of quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement occurs when two particles, or for this example, beings, carry information about each other the moment they are entangled or close to each other. The moment a met tech takes place, the loa becomes permanently entangled into one's aura field and can communicate and affect your world from anywhere. From that point on, on a quantum from that point on, quantum teleportation takes place on a regular basis where information at a quantum level is sent from the LOA to the receiver. The information downloaded will be regarding your connection with the said spirit, ancestral information, as well as their origins. The recipient can be in any location at any time and receive messages from their Metet. 
Met techs in Haiti are often kept secret as most loa are neutral and one can be used against the other. Once the connection or metet is established, the spirit you are connected to can in intervene on or in your life when needed for mundane things and situations that could impact your life significantly. For example, there's a story of a man from Nigeria, Harrison Okine, who survived in an underwater air pocket in a ship that had sunk for two days, nearly 100 feet under the water in a very cold part of the ocean. This is no doubt from his spiritual connection with one of the Mamiwata spirits who interfered on his behalf and ensured his survival. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.